In this video, I'm going to show you when and why you should be using leap options as well as how exactly you should go about entering a leap option position. I'm going to do this by sharing with you two of my real life examples. And I encourage you to stay tuned in until the end of this video where I will share with you an actual leap position I'm trying to enter right now and how I'm entering that leap position at an awesome discount. I'm going to share with you a little secret here as to why I started trading options many years ago. At that time, I realized that option trading was a subject that many investors and traders didn't really understand. I knew that if I could educate myself about how options work and become pretty good at it, I could probably do pretty good trading options because it was such a misunderstood and scary trading strategy. This is confirmed by, as you can see on the screen, an article by marketwatch.com in 2017. As you can see in the red box, only 17% of all traders place one option trade a month. In the blue box, you see the famous warning that experts agree that options come with a much higher level of risk, cost, and complexity. Trading options can be risky if it's not done properly. But if you trade options properly, they can actually be less risky than trading in stocks. Leap option trading is a strategy that every trader should be using, but only a tiny fraction of them actually are using it. Leap options are an awesome tool you can use to gain control of a stock or index, receive all the benefits of that control while minimizing the risk. In my opinion, you should be using leap options every time you're shorting a stock or entering a long position in a non-dividend paying stock. Here's an example of a long leap option position I'm in right now in Disney. Back on March 20th of 2020, I bought the January of 2022 $85 leap option. If you remember, this was a time when there was a tremendous amount of fear and volatility in the market. Now, I had no idea that the market would rebound as fast as it did. I just knew that Disney was a solid company that I wanted to own a piece of. So why was it the right decision to buy a leap call option instead of Disney stock outright. We now know that Disney rebounded in a big way. Since we own the $85 January 2022 leap call option, the value of that option went up from the $21.69 that I paid for it, to as you can see in the blue rectangle under the column cost to buy, to on November 19th of 2020, when I sold it, I was able to sell it for $59.80. So it increased by $38.11 per share. During that same time, Disney stock went from $92 to $142. So it went up $50. Now we missed out on $11.89 of Disney's increase. So why do I say it was better to own the leap call option instead of the outright stock? Well, one huge reason is that by using leap options, we were able to capture 76% of the move, but we had at risk a fraction of what the stock would have cost us if we had bought it outright. We were risking only 24% of what the stock would have cost us, but we were able to capture 76% of the move. This is one major reason why I use leap options if I'm buying non or low dividend paying stocks. Leap options allow you to capture the move, but risk a fraction of what the underlying stock would cost us. If we wanted to capture closer to 100% of the move, we could easily have done that by buying a deeper in the money leap call option. Here you see the Disney January 2022 call option chains from in the green box $45 to $110. In the yellow box, you see the deltas of each of those strike prices. Notice that the deeper in the money leap call option is, the higher the delta. For the $45 strike price January 2022 leap call option, it will change $99.70 for every $100 that Disney stock price changes. If you look all the way down at the bottom, at the $110 strike price call, that call option will change $91.10 for every $100 that Disney stock price increases. Did you notice that as the trade moves in our favor, the delta moves in our favor as well? That is huge. The opposite is also huge, and a big second reason why I traded a leap position in Disney. If I had been wrong and Disney had continued to go down, my long leap option would have lost value at a slower pace than the underlying stock. In fact, that pace would have slowed more and more as the stock moved farther and farther away from the direction I wanted it to go in. So leap options reward you to an increasing degree when your trades go in your direction, but the trade goes against you, the leap options offer you a deceleration of loss, or you might say they offer you some protection if you're wrong. That is an absolute win-win for us traders. That's why I like to trade leap options on non or low dividend paying stocks. If you'd like information on how leap options work, check out the video at the link above and the description below when you're finished with this video. Next, we're going to talk about when you should use leap options. But if you're liking the video, why don't you do me a favor and tap the thumbs up button. 
that thumbs up goes a long way towards encouraging me to continue making these types of videos for you. And it means a lot to me personally. And stay tuned in until the end of this video where I will share with you an actual elite position I'm trying to enter right now and how I'm entering that position at an awesome discount. Let's now flip this Disney position over on its head. Let's say that we now believe that Disney has topped out and is going to decline. Now I personally don't know if this is the case, so please isn't a suggested trade from me, but let's just say that we felt Disney was about to go down in price. And we want to profit from this downward move while limiting our risk. How could we use leap options to do this? Well, we could buy a leap put option. What would that look like? Disney is currently trading at almost $174. Notice the leap put option chains for January of 2023. These options expire in 755 days. The strike prices start at $260, which would be the most in the money, and they go all the way down to $60. Notice that for the leap put options here on the screen, in the red box, their deltas range from 74.9 cents per dollar to 34.6 cents per dollar. Again, an advantage of buying a leap put as compared to shorting the stock is that whereas you theoretically have an unlimited loss potential by shorting a stock, if you buy a leap put instead, your loss is capped by how much you paid for that put option. And by buying a leap instead of a shorter term put, you minimize your time decay on that option. For example, notice that the time decay on the $175 put option that expires on February 19th of 2021 or in 55 days, it will lose on average eight cents per day. But if you buy the same strike price, $175, but buy a leap put option that expires on January 2023, that option will only lose on average two cents per day. If you're an option buyer, you always wanna watch that time decay and you wanna minimize how much you lose because of it. One of the best ways you can minimize time decay loss is by buying leap options as compared to nearer term options. If you'd like to see more details on my exact leap option trading strategy, check out the video in the link above and the description below entitled leap option trading strategy when you're finished with this video. At the beginning, I told you that I was going to share with you the details on an actual leap position I'm trying to enter right now and how I'm entering that leap position at an awesome discount. Here you see a position I'm in right now in Bet 10 Dickinson and Company, ticker symbol BDX. I sold to open the January 15th, $245 put options and received $5.49 per share, as you can see in the average price column on the right. BDX is a very stable and mature healthcare equipment and sales company. Unfortunately, if this stock is put into our account, the dividend is only 1.36%. That's not very exciting. However, what is exciting is that if it looks like this stock is going to be assigned to us or actually does get assigned to us, I will switch the position over to a leap call position. The strike price I pick would depend on where BDX is trading at that time. But let's say, for example, that BDX is trading pretty close to where it's trading right now, but just under our strike price of $245. Now, if that were the case, what I actually probably do is try and roll that short put option because it should generate a nice premium for us. But let's say for some reason, the stock got assigned to us at this price. If that happened, I would sell the stock back and buy a January of 2023 leap call option. I typically like to buy leaps with a delta of around 80 or so. So as you see in the yellow rectangle, I'd buy a leap with a strike price between $175 and $185. For the sake of this example, let's go with the $185 strike January of 2023 leap call option. Let's just go in the middle. Let's say it will cost us $75 per share. That's already 70% less than what the stock would cost us to buy it outright per share. But remember, we initiated this trade by selling a put option and we were paid $5.49 per share for selling that put option. So our true cost will be the $75 minus the $5.49 per share that we got from that option, or $69.51 per share. That means that even though we are just starting out in this position, we are already in it at a 7.3% discount. On top of that, we would immediately begin selling short near-term call options against the leap call that we own. By selling puts, we have received some awesome cash up front, increased the odds of having a profitable position, and lowered our cost of entering this trade by over 7%. If you'd like more details on how we use selling put options to beat the market, check out the video in the link above in the description below entitled, How to Beat the Market Using Options, when you're finished with this video. If you'd like help keeping track of what are the best stocks and options to trade in, and when is the best time to make those trades, check out the benefits of becoming a patron at the link in the description below. On a daily and weekly basis, our patrons get alerts of the exact trades that we are doing. They also get a list of stocks 
every weekend that we plan to either buy outright or sell options in. We take a lot of the hard work out of finding option trading opportunities for our Patreon. And a quick shout out and a big thank you to our current Patreon members. Thank you so much for your support. Check out the videos in the link above and the description below where I share with you exactly how much we make on a monthly basis selling options. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.